Good day, this is Pastor JT from New Calvary Baptist Church in the lovely city of Detroit. And the word on the net can be found in Matthew chapter 5, verse 44. And it reads as follows. Jesus is saying, but I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. I don't know about you, but whew, that's, a, that's a struggle for all of us. Love your enemies? You mean to tell me I must show compassion and love for someone who not only verbally did me wrong, but may have caused me physical harm? Jesus is setting the bar high by saying to those who follow him to love your enemy. Well, what does that type of love look like? I'm glad you asked. Be clause of that text. He says, pray for those who despitefully use you. Do you know when you pray for someone, you are saying, in essence, God, I can't handle it. I don't know the words to say. I don't know the things to do. So I'm going to give it or that person to you. Think about it. More often than not, we pray to God when we are navigating in spaces where we need him to work on our behalf to heal someone, to bless someone. If you would do that for someone you care about, certainly you can give your enemies to God. And when you do that through prayer, what you're saying to God is, regardless of what that person has done to me, there's hope that they'll turn around. There's hope that they'll get things together. There's hope for them. Believe it or not, same level of hope you show for others is the same level of hope you needed at one point in your life. If you can't say amen, say ouch. Look, I hope this blessed you on today. Continue to connect with us uh, via uh, YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram so that you can receive these powerful messages to help you. God bless.